Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows Update Error that is 0x800707E7. So if you are receiving this error code while updating Windows 10, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run Update Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu. Click on Settings. Go to Update and Security. Click on Troubleshoot. Then click on Additional Troubleshooter. Click on Windows Update and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to update your windows 10 now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and make changes in the registry so before you make any changes in the registry create a backup first for this go ahead and type in registry editor in windows search box then click on registry editor click on yes to allow and then on the top left here you can see file click on export then select your select the location where you want to save the backup you can just name it as backup and then for export range select all then click on save now this will go ahead and back up the registry editor now here still up you know backing up the registry so here you can see the blue cursor Now it's backed up. Now in future, whenever you want to restore the registry, you can click on file, then click on import and select the backup file and then click on open. This will go ahead and restore the registry. Now in order to fix this um, error, you have to go ahead and go to this location. So expand H key local machine. Then you have to go ahead and expand software folder. Then expand Microsoft then expand windows nt scroll down and here you can see windows nt expand it then expand current version and then you have to go ahead and select profile list so scroll down and here you can see profile list now once you expand profile list over here you have to look for a entry which is ending with dot ba key so in my case i already deleted it so i don't have it so when you expand profile list over here you will find any entry if you don't find any entry which ends with bak then you can ignore this step if you find it then you have to go ahead and make a right click so suppose for example i'm showing just an example make a right click then click on delete so if you find any entry which ends with dot bak make a right click on it and then delete it and then after this you close the registry editor go to the start menu then click on the power icon click on restart and after that you go ahead and try to update your windows 10 that should go ahead and fix the error message now still you're facing the problem in that case for few users you can go to this location so I'll show you where to find this location, how to find it. So over here, you have to expand HK local machine, then expand software, and then expand WoW 6432 node. So it's WoW 6432 node, expand it, then expand Microsoft folder, then expand the Windows NT folder, scroll down and find windows nt and then again current version expand it then find profile list and over here also if you find any entry which ends with dot bak make a right click and delete it then close the registry editor then click on the start menu then click on the power can restart your computer and then update your windows 10. so this has worked for many users so it might work for you now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and run windows update reset script for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down and here you can see download windows update reset script for computer running windows 10 click on it this will download the zip file so go to the download location make a right click on we reset then click on extract all click on extract and once the extract is done, open this WU reset Windows 10. 
then make a right click on WU reset then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then press any key to continue now this process will take time so do not close this black screen let the process complete first of all it will go ahead and stop all the service then it will go ahead and restart all the service so this process takes time so maybe few seconds or maybe a minute so do not close this black window the process is still running right now Now it's restarting all the services. If you receive any kind of error message over here, just ignore it. And at the end here, you can see press any key to continue. So you can press any key on the keyboard and this will close the command prompt window. And then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to update your Windows 10. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, run these two commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, and then copy the first command. The commands are provided in the video description. So paste it over here and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, run the second scan. So once this is 100% complete, copy the second command and then again, paste this command over here once this is complete hit the enter key and once this scan is 100% complete restart your computer and then update your windows 10. Now in case if nothing is working you can use media creation tool to update windows 10. So this has also worked for many users so it might work for you. Copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website. Click on download tool now and once the download is complete run this exe file and you will see this screen. Now click on accept and then by default upgrade this PC now would be selected over here. So click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take time. Once the download is complete, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now this is checked by default, do not make any changes. So when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install and after the installation, you can log into your computer and your windows should be up to date and you should not receive this error message anymore. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.